Welcome to Talking Models. Today we're going to do a review of a new kit from Creature Features out of California. Dr. Sin from the movie The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh, sculpted by Jeff Yeager and currently available. You can see this is just a beautiful kit. You know, I've never seen the film myself. It's a Disney film and uh, it has great reviews. I'm waiting for it to come on Disney Plus and I'm going to check it out and see and find out a little bit more about Dr. Sin. So here it is guys. You know the kit is just there's something about this kit. Like I said I've never seen the film. I'm a fan of Jeff Yeager and when I seen this there was just something about the pose, the action, the flow, everything about it just something grabbed me. So I ordered it. And I am happy to say I was one of the first ten to get a, a casting of this beautiful kit. It's impressed me so much that it's next on the bench. Yeah, it just went above all the others so I can get this beautiful thing done and put it on display. So here's the kit. You can see uh, Jeff has captured the face of the scarecrow of uh, the uh, jacket, just the flow of the clothing, the two guns ablazing. He's ready for action. You've got a nice uh, simple ground base uh, with some pumpkins. You've got pieces of uh, straw or grass that are around it, two behind the base. And of course you got the uh, picket fence that you would have in any kind of a pumpkin orchard. And of course you've got the boots you've got the uh, hat you've got the, I love the action of the tops of the coat you got one that goes this way and the one in the back flows that way and it's just a beautiful just a beautiful kit let me kinda just we're gonna do a little bit of a review of each piece here you get of course the pumpkins as you see here and by the way these are casted by Mike Allen and these are just beautiful castings. I'm telling you, just gorgeous. Great job, Mike. And you look around, I'm looking at this one here, and um, very, very slight line here along the pumpkin. Little wet sponge, boom. Let's pop the fence off. You can see you get the fence piece. Just some light flanging. Some of that just came off with the run of my finger. As you can see it's just a uh, very 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 nice casting very minimal probably exacto blade problem solved you've got the little pieces of grass that are around the base as you see looks like just minor flanging left on these nice four pieces just a little light exacto blade cleaning you're good to go now you've got the two little pieces here I like to call them the wings they go on the jacket itself very again very very light cleanup on those bad boys you've got the two this one I glued on because of gravity but you can see here you've got uh, the glove with the gun and as I look at this, you just very, very, yeah, very minor, very minor cleaning on that. Great job, guys. And then let me pop his head off. Maybe easier said than done. There's the head of the scarecrow. As you see, the scarecrow of Romney Marsh. Very nice job, Jeff. Now as I look at this, you, of course you got a mole line along the top of the hat. And again, a light sponge, light sanding sponge, problem solved. i just pop this off here and take a look at the figure itself. Let you all see this. You can see just the flow of the cape that Jeff has captured. You turn it around, 
see it this way. You can see the flow of the jacket this way as we go. There's the bottom, the boots. Very, very minor. Very minor. Just a light dusting of a sponge or exacto blade and you're ready to go. Same with this arm and the gun. This is a hefty piece. This is very, very hefty resin. Chunk of resin. The base itself, you can see as the different little uh, rocks uh, vining, things of that nature. Nice simple base but it just packs a lot of action when you put this thing together. You pop this back on here. Of course you got the plug and, uh, plug and play grooves which I love. And we'll put this bad boy back on here. So he's ready with his guns a-blazing to take care of the problems of the world. Pop this back on here. Put the pumpkin patch back on here. Just easy peasy lemon squeezy, huh? Pop that bad boy here. Then of course you got this one here. Pop that on here. More plug and play. We got the pieces of grass that are on here. Pop those on back on the back, just like so. Just very, very easy. That one probably doesn't go there, so that one we'll put over here. This one will pop back here. Again, I'm not sure these are where they go. I'm just putting them in there right now. Put this bad boy over here, and there it is. Boom. Why'd that take me a couple minutes to assemble? And there she is. Again, there's just something about this piece that just uh, grabs me, you know, and uh, I had to have it. So if you're in the market for something different, if you're a fan of Jeff Yeager, if you're a fan of Mike Allen, if you're a fan of Creature Features, boom, all of this rolled into one with this new release. Dr. Sin from the Scarecrow of Romany e. Marsh, a must have in my opinion. I'm going to put contact information on this uh, for um, Tyler over at Creature Features and uh, you can contact him and get on the list to get one of these gems and before you know it you'll have a beautiful beautiful piece to add to your collection. So that wraps up, wraps up today's episode of Talking Models as we did a review of this brand new kit. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that button and boom! Of course you won't see all that, but in my, from my point of view, boom! You're in the family. And I'd greatly appreciate it. So have a great day today. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.